Hey everyone, it's uh, it's getting to that time of the year again, Christmas, um, uh, and uh, it's time for Christmas lights displays um, to be going up on everyone else's houses. Um, I've had a few people asking a few questions about my display here in the UK, um, so I thought what would be easier to do is to do a little video for everyone. Uh, hopefully, to explain uh, everything that um, people got questions about. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously let me know, and I'll try and do my best to answer. Um, all my information, though, that I got. Uh, when I started doing this, it was my first year last year doing this. Um, I'm not computer uh, lit. I'm not. I'm no whiz kid on a computer at all. I just knew the basic kind of things. Um, I went to um, a certain forum called uh, DoItYourselfChristmas.com. These guys over there here, um, they were from America. The majority of them uh, on that forum are from over in America. Where obviously you've seen all the displays on YouTube and that. They're pretty good at what they do. Um, so I just want to say a big thank you to those on DoItYourselfChristmas.com. Uh, um, if anyone has got any questions or any concerns or is looking to do this, then that is one of the forums that you should be going to straight away to get all your information, get questions answered. Um, but do bear in mind, um, these people have been doing it for a while. Um, they're not going to give everything away for free. They've been trained and they've been working hard at it. Um, so you kind of need to get a bit of basic background yourself as well into this. So do read up and do plan about all this and look into it a bit more before you start doing this. Um, with that said, um, I started this my first year last year. I started looking into this about September time um, and it still didn't really give me enough time come Christmas I was still rushing around trying to get all this finished um, and it was about a week before I was planning to turn the lights on things still weren't working, still having problems um, but like I said these guys at doityourselfchristmas.com they were, they were brilliant and uh, they, they really helped me out uh, so thank you to them um, so yeah so last year I was running uh, a Vixen 3 software this software is free uh, available on the internet. Once again, uh, uh, some guys over in the States and that, they've um, some computer um, engineers and that, they've just all teamed up and they've come together and built this piece of software in their own time, their spare time, uh, and they uh, they let it out for free. Uh, it's a great piece of software. I've been using it now for last year and I'm using it again this year. It's a magical piece of equipment um, and like I said, it's free on the internet. Again, I'll send put the link in below. Um, but once again, big thank you to them as well. Um, so I'm using Vixen 3 software. There is different versions on there. It goes back to version two, Vixen two. People are still using the old software because they reckon it's uh, um, it's got less uh, glitches in it, uh, which is possible. It's true, but I've never come across any problems with the Vixen three that I've been using. I'm using very basic um, uh, commands in Vixen three. Um, there's lots and lots of different things you can do in there, but I've not got to that stage yet. It's only my second year, but this is just very very basic compared to what everything can, what else you could do on that piece of software. Um, so yeah, so Vixen 3, uh, Vixen software, uh, I then using an Arduino Mega 2560, I'm just going to get a torch out because my camera focuses better when it's a bit more light. This in the middle here is a Mega, uh, Arduino Mega 2560, uh, this is what um, is plugged, uh, this is what come you plug into from your computer, uh, this is what controls um, your relays uh, and your channels uh, surrounding uh, this Arduino Mega. It's a brilliant piece of equipment. Again, this can do anything really. It can turn something on like a light, um, switch on and off, uh, to power in a fan, to, to all sorts of different things. It's just a piece of software where you can tell it to switch on, switch off, um, or loads of different commands you can tell it to do. This one is the Mega 2560. Um, this has a uh, up to, I believe, 53, 52 channels. Uh, we got down, uh, first of all, down through uh, so I'm just get, trying to get a focus here. Uh, we're trying to get down the left hand side here. Uh, if I just put this off here, we'll stay there. Sorry about this. I'm just trying to get a good angle so that you can all see. Um, no, it's not going to work. Um, you're going to stay. No, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so this is the Arduino Mega 256, so I can't go get in close because I can't do two things at once, hold a camera and hold a torch and point. <laughs> uh, down the left hand side here um, is your channels 1 up to about 22, 23 I believe. Then along the bottom here you've got then channels 22, 23 up to about 53, 52, 53 channels. Down the right hand side though, uh, on this side is um, a selection of uh, yeah, inputs. Uh, I haven't gone into any of this, we haven't, don't need to be using any of these really for inputs, we're, we're talking about output pins we're after. And then at the bottom here we've got some power supplies which has got some ground uh, ground signals in there um, th that we should be using really, if you can just see there, it's probably going to focus a bit better now. Um, ground signals in there, ground pins that you need to be using if you want to ground your Arduino down so that it doesn't short circuit out. Um, so that's the Arduino Mega. Uh, surrounding the Arduino Mega uh, 2560 is um, uh, our 
eight channeled solid state relay boards as it says here. Uh, these were brilliant. Last year I was using uh, Saint Smart uh, 12 volt uh, 16 channel mechanical relays. Um, these are all mechanical, um, inside them is a uh, mechanical mechanism, flicking them on and off. Uh, these are okay for the first setup. Uh, I used uh, 12, uh, 12 channels out of the 16 that were available. Um, the problem with the mechanical ones there, they don't like a lot of chatter when you get them working. Uh, because of the mechanisms inside, they can be temperamental sometimes. and they don't. The shows don't run as smoothly when you're trying to make them run uh, with the mechanical relays. So I was advised when I looked into it and read, I was asking questions again. I was advised to look at um, solid state relays, uh, but by then it was a bit too late, so I just got them in for this year. Uh, and really pleased with them, they're absolutely brilliant. You've got eight channels on each one. Um, your black solid states are here, solid state relays are here. Uh, and then on each one as well, that you come with, with an LED, so it indicates to let you know that LED, that, that signal, you're getting a signal coming through there. Uh, if the LED doesn't work, there, it might be a fault with the LED, uh, it might be a fault with the relay, but until you get your actual lights plugged in here, on your two pins, you got your two pins here. Um, until you get your lights plugged into the relays, uh, you're not going to know really uh, what the fault is. Um, but it's great if you've got an LED. Um, if you've got the LEDs lighting and you know a signal's going there, it's obviously the relay. Um, but if the relay's working and the LED's not working, it's obviously the LED, uh, vice versa. So each one has got eight channels on, and, and I've got four. I've purchased four. Uh, so it's given me a total of 32 channels altogether. I'm not going to be using 32 channels. I've left a couple of channels free at the end. Just because if there's any problems with any other channels, I've got some spare ones to use. Always a wise thing to do as well is to keep some free. Don't use them all up, otherwise if you get problems, you're just going to lose that channel straight away. Um, with wiring these up, they need a 5 volt power supply. Uh, as you can see here, I've got my white cable coming in here. My 5 volt power, my ground and my, uh, my, my neutral. Uh, and what I've done here is that um, I've added them up all the the, um, the the power supplies that's needed, and my calculations allow me to it's told me that I can use the five volt power supply to power all four. And I would just daisy chain them here um, with your black wire uh, to each one, uh, so that way I've just got one power supply. Um, do your calculations, make sure that you've got the right amount of um, wattage and everything going through the power. Um, try not to go over. Um, if you're not quite sure, then just obviously just use. Uh, one five volt power supply for each one. If you're going to go more than four, do your equations um, and make sure that you've got the right power supply going in and you're not too short or you're not overloading. Um, but I know for a fact that four is fine to be using one power supply. Um, if you get any problems, like I said, just go down to one power supply for each one. Uh, then on the uh, on the each side, uh, you've got your your inputs for your channels uh, coming along here. It tells you on it indicates at the top here. It tells you which pin channel is is which, uh, which is quite handy. Um, so it tells you there that uh, starting with the top, uh, you've got your channel one, uh, and then channel two, channel three, channel four, and etc. etc. And it indicates here on this diagram here. Uh, same with the ground uh, and the voltage and that in here. It tells you which one's which, which pin's which, which is great. Uh, so that's that gives you the pins. So like I said, um, in your Arduino Mega then 2560, um, uh, it depends on what channels you use, depends on what your your sketch says. Um, I'll come over to what I mean by sketch uh, and your program and your, and your, your codes and everything. Uh, it depends on what uh, channels you're going to be using. Uh, like I said, I'm using uh, 32 channels. I've set up 32 channels. Um, I'm not going to be using them all, um, but I've set them up so that they're ready to use. Uh, and how I've done that is um, I've taken these jumper cables here, all these different coloured cables. These are jumper cables, mail to mail jumper cables. You can get them on eBay, nice and cheap. Um, all of this, actually, uh, in fact, uh, this I bought, purchased all this on eBay. Um, the, 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 this is not an expensive setup at all. Uh, you're talking a couple of quid for each piece of thing. The most expensive bits of these relay boards, they were about £15. Pounds. Um, the solid state relays, what I forgot to mention actually, these solid state relay boards, um, they come with um, solid state relays. Now, the relays on here won't allow dimming. So if you're looking at dimming your lights uh, and increasing your dimming flow, um, they won't allow it. What you need to do is you need to um, go online, research, and there is different types of relays you need to purchase, which you can purchase them individually. But what you'll need to do is you'll need to unsolder these ones, pop these out, and then resolder in the new ones. Time consuming and very fiddly. Uh, I wasn't too bothered with that this year. I may look at that next year. But this year I just wanted to make sure that everything was running smoothly, uh, just with normally. So mine are just going to be coming on and off. There's no, I've got no pulse, or I've got no um, dimming, sorry, happening in my show. It's just on and off lights, um, which is still a great effect. But with the dimming, obviously you get a lot more effects as well. But I'll be looking at that next year. So yeah, you need to look into that if you're interested in doing that. Um, so these jumper cables then, uh, basically each jumper cable will go into its, uh, its allocated pin number. 
um, and then it will need to then go into your Arduino Mega into the pin that you want that to, uh, uh, to, to go to. So for instance on here I may have pin 1 uh, I know goes to channel 1 on my relay board and then I've got my channel number just down here so I know that's channel 1. Okay, uh, and then I know when I do my display and my diagram, I know that right, channel one, that may be my uh, left window. So I know that my light on there is left window is on that channel one. So when I do all the programming in Vixen 3, I know what my channels are. You need to obviously draw up a diagram, helpful to draw up a diagram that shows you an image of your house and that and uh, what your lights are doing on your house. Um, so that's how that's wiring from the Arduino. So from your pin number uh, down in here, which like I said, you can't really see very well. But your male pin goes in, it's a, it's a female input, and you need to put a male jumper cable in, push it in, comes out, unscrew the screw slightly, push in your male jumper wire, screw the screw down, and they're clamping them in nice and tight, and then just go around and do all your channels uh, accordingly. Uh, so we've got, like I said, we've got eight channels in each one, all wired in. Uh, and that is um, pretty much it on there. You've got down here as well, like I said earlier, you have to make sure you've got a ground in there. I've put a ground pin in, uh, and then ground it into your, your board. Um, so you've got nice ground in. On the Arduino Mega then, um, it's got a power supply there. Uh, I can't remember what the voltage is on the power supply, but I've never had to use a voltage power supply um, because the USB actually, when you plug your USB cable in, which is here from your computer, that powers your Arduino Mega as well. Uh, and then as long as you've got power to your, uh, to your relay boards, which you've got your 5 volt power, then everything should be uh, fine. So uh, you don't necessarily need a power supply to your Arduino Mega. Um, so this is my USB cable here. And then my USB cable then runs to my computer over there which I'm going to stop the video and set up and then I'm going to show you how to set up your Arduino Mega to your computer. So that is um, so far my relay board. The other thing as well, as well as I mentioned, at the moment I've got these pinned to a piece of cardboard. This will go on my big board outside, um, which is in another video which I've done. Um, uh, we've got my big board outside. On the back obviously you've got soldering points of these relay boards, you've got loads of soldering points and the same with the Arduino as well. Make sure that you raise these Arduino boards off the ground or off of whatever you're putting them onto so that you don't scratch the soldering at the back, otherwise you're going to loosen them up and it's going to get bad connections. Uh, on each relay board you've got four screw pin holes. Uh, I'm just using two at the moment just to hold them in place, but underneath there is some rubber circular discs which go underneath the ring uh, which lifts the relay board up slightly so it don't scratch the soldering in the back. Um, and then the same on here as well in the Arduino Mega, the screws. You've got four screw points, and you've also got a screw point in the middle as well, which is what I've got at the moment, just so it moves around a bit Italy there. So it just moves around slightly, nice and easy, freeable to move around a bit. Um, so yeah, so that's the relay board and the Arduino Mega 2560. Um, and uh, any questions on that, then post it on the video, and uh, my next video will be um, down on my computer here.